What screams we are not going to last long for couples. I was at a party one time and there was a marriage counselor there that had been working for 20-something years in couples counseling. I asked her what the number one sign was that the couple wasn't going to make it. Without hesitating, she said if one person shows contempt for the other's feelings, it's over. Having a kid to fix their relationship. If all disagreements end in arguments. Me and my partner disagree about a lot of stuff. But we can talk, discuss, and even sometimes agree with the other person's side. It'd be weird if you saw eye to eye on 100% of stuff too. When he smashes her face in the cake at the wedding and she hates it. If they have strongly conflicted plans for their future. Either means they'll break up eventually or one or both of them will end up in an unhappy compromise. Breaking up every few minutes and then back together again. Social media addiction. If the person constantly needs to show the world they haven't so, and that they are just so happy together, and then gets mad that the other doesn't post as much. Social media addiction ruins relationships. In my experience. Contempt mockery lack of communication respect empathy for the other person glue babies having a wedding as opposed to making a marriage with the exception of children consistently and habitually prioritizing others over there so then there's the things that for me are default deal breakers any kind of abuse cheating financial dishonesty violence gaslighting this criteria also applies to their treatment of my children where applicable edit since i don't seem to have been clear enough about what i meant regarding prioritizing the children what i actually meant was my children are the only people i would ever drop everything and run for over my partner in day-to-day -day life of course your relationship with your partner is equally important. Edit 2. A glue baby is having a baby in an attempt to save a relationship. If the relationship started by one of them cheating on their previous partner and then leaving them to be with this new person. I've witnessed two of these IRL and both of them ended with, surprise, more cheating. Like I don't know why you'd possibly think starting a relationship with someone who you already know isn't faithful would be a good idea. Where are you? Hanging out with my cousins. Really? VC me RN. After my ex and I broke up, she told me that she couldn't find a notebook of hers, and that if I found it in my stuff to please throw it away. It was her personal thoughts and weren't meant to be read by anyone else. I told her I wouldn't read it and I meant it. I had no intention on violating her request. A year later I was going through a box and found a notebook I didn't recognize and had long forgotten my pledge to my ex. I just thought, what's this? And opened it up. By the time I realized it was the notebook she asked about, I already had a the gist of it. It wasn't a diary, she had been spying on me and journaling all her findings. A page would read like, 4.55 p.m. says he has to work late 6 p.m. his office light is on. So are Michelle's and Jennifer's but Jennifer's car isn't there. 7.30 p.m. his car is still there. Office light is on. Michelle's car is still in the parking lot. 12.30 p.m. his car is gone for lunch, so is Tina's. Neither at parents' condo. She was good at it too, never once did I catch her, or even caught a glimpse of what I thought might be her car. Never did I come home unexpectedly and find her not home, nothing. Dot but she was regularly acting as a pie thinking I was banging every girl I worked with. Edit thanks for the gold. I knew I went through all that shit for something. Tattoos of each other's names. A recent personal experience I witnessed. The entire immediate family of one side of a wedding said it was a bad idea and less than a month into the marriage one of them stayed at their mom's house for the night because they were fighting. Also they got engaged as a result of a failed breakup attempt. How on earth do you fuck up dumping someone so severely that you accidentally end up marrying them? When you start calculating how much you give and receive in a relationship. Lack of communication. Discussing every disagreement means screaming over each other, exploding, shutting off communications and or running out of the room. So they won't be able to resolve anything in a constructive manner. The way they speak to each other when they're not alone. I noticed this after my divorce and I started dating again. Because you speak to these new people with a lot of respect and kindness. Then we'd get around married couples and they'd saw awful things to each other in nasty snappy tones. And it was jarring. Fast forward 10 years and all those couples I noticed doing that are divorced now. 
if one or both of the people are controlling over the other. I heard eye rolling is the most common sign of eventual relationship failure. It shows contempt, which is poison to any type of bond. I always think of the bird theory. If one person says to the other, oh look a bird and the other doesn't want to connect over the bird. Just looking at it and giving a hey thanks. That's a cool bird. The relationship is not going to go well. Basically you have to be willing to make small everyday connections. I find this is true of a lot of relationships outside of romantic or sexual ones as well. These are called bids. As in, bids for attention. And yes they are hugely important because tiny day-to-day -day interactions build up to bigger and bigger things. Being ignored, no response to a bird, or being responded to poorly. Of course it's a bird we're outside. What did you think it was? can leave someone feeling very lost and unheard very quickly.